Good morning to all of you. After our previous classes, we have uh, where we discussed about reflection, object types, image types, image format plan mirrors. We'll discuss today a complete a brand new topic for you that is concept of inclined mirrors. You please write down. Concept of inclined mirror. Concept of inclined mirror. That is also an important topic, I think so. Concept of inclined mirror. You write a few lines about it. If we place an object if we place an object between if we place an object between two inclined mirror which are which are at If we place an object between two inclined mirror which are at an angle theta, then number of number of images formed number of images formed can be number of images formed can be. Calculated as follows. <clears throat> this is a statement you write concept of inclined mirror. If we place an object between two inclined mirror which are at an angle theta, then number of images formed can be calculated as follows. Okay, so we'll try to find out. Now in this case, I am running this one for you. So if I consider, if I consider two mirrors, if I consider two mirrors like that, they are inclining, they are inclining this way at an angle theta. Suppose these are the two mirrors, this is M1, this is M2. Now these two mirrors are hanging at an angle of theta. So this situation is called inclined. Okay? And if I keep an object here somewhere between these two mirrors, so number of images can form between these two mirrors can be calculated as number of Images formed, number of images formed is equal to, you can write 360 degree by theta. So this will be the formula. So number of images formed in such situation can be calculated as 360 degree by theta. If 360 by theta becomes an odd number. If 360 by theta becomes an odd number, then the result will be that one only. See, that will be the number of images formed. See, if I consider that suppose theta is 72 degree, say. So, if theta is 72 degree, 2 degree, the number of images formed is what? 360 by 72, that is how much? 5. So, total number of images will be? Five. Because 5 is our number, so this will be the number of images formed in this situation. Okay? But if if this becomes an event number, if this becomes an event number, if this becomes an event number, 
Then from that will be 360 degree by theta minus 1. It is for what number? For even number. For odd number, it's okay. For odd number, you have only one. 360 by theta. It's okay. It is for odd number. Okay? But for even number, we have to subtract one from there. Say, theta to be 60 degree. If theta is 60 degree, then number of images will be how much? 360 degree by 60 is equal to 1, 6. So 6 is even number, so number of images from will be minus 1, 5. So it's very simple thing. If it is an odd number, then no problem. This formula will be standby. But if, if it's become an even number, so you have to subtract minus uh, 1 from that particular result. And then we can find out how many images will be formed in case of a two inclined views. You please remember these two formula because this will be proved very essential in case of your entrance examination. If I consider a different situation, suppose this is the surfaces and this time they are inclined at they are inclined at an angle 90 degree. And how much angle? They are inclined at angle 90 degree. So the angle between them is 90 degree. So how many images will be formed? Very simple. Images form is 360 by theta. That is equal to how much? 360 by 90. So number of images form is 4. 4 is what number? 4 is even number. So it will be minus 1. Total number of images form is 3. So one more case. If I tell, if I take one more situation, you have you got this situation. So if I consider another situation, suppose the mirrors are like that. The mirrors are like that. Fine. So these are the mirrors. Like that they are standing. So in this case, the theta will be how much? Theta between them will be 1, 0 degree. In case of this, this situation, the theta will be 0 degree. So, number of images formed will be what? 360 by 0, that is equal to what? Infinity. Because anything upon 0 is equal to infinity. So, in such circumstances, the images formed will be your infinity. So, very important thing to remember that in case of an a two inclined surface, which are placed at theta angle and the number of images would be calculated by the formula 360 by theta. If it is become odd number, result is become odd number, that will be standby. And if 360 by theta uh, become even number, it will be minus 1 for even number of images. Okay? For even number of even, if you find this result, 360 by theta is even, you have to subtract one from them, and if it is odd, then it will be standard. So these are very basic things. You please note it down. In previous classes, we also discussed about the plane mirror and uh, what type of images are formed in case of plane mirror we have studied. In case of plane mirror, the images form is basically virtual and direct type of images. Apart from that, in optics, we generally use the concept of spherical mirror. This is very important. Spherical mirror. Spherical mirrors are, keep writing, spherical mirrors are those mirrors which are a part of hollow sphere. Remember, spherical mirrors are those mirrors which are the part of a hollow sphere. Remember, this is very important formula you should remember. That spherical mirrors are those mirrors which are the parts of a hollow sphere. 
Spherical mirrors are further classified as number one, concave mirror, concave mirror, and number two, convex mirror. Remember, these are the classifications of spherical mirror, what? concave mirror, and convex mirror. But general formula of spherical mirror is that the spherical mirrors are those mirrors which are the part of a hollow sphere. Remember, so these are their classification. We'll study now about the concave mirror. What is called concave mirror? As I told you, that spherical mirrors are the part of a hollow sphere. So if I consider this is to be a hollow sphere. It is a what? Suppose it is a hollow sphere. So if I if I cut a portion from here like that, and if I can layer this side, this side, if I remove this one, this will be your concave mirror. This is concave. Mirror, right? So, what about in case of concave mirror? If you consider this is a hollow sphere, this is going to be its center of the sphere, and uh, this will be your one radius of curvature r, and uh, so and so this is your pole, and this is your center. Okay, this distance PC is known as r. So, if you have this type of so, what can you see? This this surface. This will be what? This will be your this will be your reflecting surface. This will be your reflecting reflecting surface. So what you can notice from this particular diagram that in case of concave mirror, reflecting surface is curved inward. Okay, it is curved inward. So, in case of concave mirror, the reflecting surface is curved inward. Very important point. In case of concave mirror, the reflecting surface is curved inward or away from the center. You can write better. It is reflecting surface is curved inward. Am I clear to this point? So, this is the concave mirror. Okay. You can also write concave mirror are also known as right concave mirrors. Concave mirrors are also known as what type of mirror they are? They are also known as converging mirror. Converging mirror. Concave mirrors are known as converging mirror. Why? If I consider this is to be a concave mirror, this is a what? Concave mirror, and these are the principal axis, as you know, everybody. This is your pole, this is your focus, this is your center of the curvature. So if I consider a ray is coming parallel to principal axis or coming from some infinite distance. So after reflection, this ray will be converging like this way. Is that clear? Similarly, one more ray you consider that is coming by the same tension and after being reflected, it will pass through the center of the curvature, focus, principal focus. That means you can see in this case, the ray coming from different sources has been converged in a particular point. That is why the concave mirror are called as converging mirrors. Okay? Next will be your convex mirror. Convex mirror. Convex mirror. Convex mirror generally, if I make a sphere about here, it is a hollow sphere if I consider. 
uh, in case of concave mirror what you found that the reflecting surface to be curved inward but in case of convex mirror the reflecting surface will be curved outward that means this will be the layer portions and if I draw here this will be like that this is going to be your convex mirror so this is the center of the curvature and this is the pole of the mirror okay so this is your convex mirror what about in case of convex mirror convex mirrors reflecting surfaces is curved outward and in case of concave the reflecting surfaces curve inward okay you can also write convex mirror are also known as diverging mirror diverging mirror convex mirror are also known as diverging mirror i am being very fast because it's a very simple thing we are long way to go of this chapter so if i consider this is a convex mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outward and if i show you the reason why they are known as diverging mirror This will be the pole of the mirror, this will be your center of the curvature, this will be your principal focus. So if a ray is coming from infinite distance, parallel to principal axis, so after reflection it will go like that, that means this way, it has been diverged. Similarly, this is a ray coming with parallel to the principal axis so after being reflected it will be also diverted this way so these are some breaking line will show that that is why convex mirror are called diverging mirror and concave mirror are called converging mirror what is a spherical mirror spherical mirrors are those mirror which are a part of a hollow sphere they are further classified as concave mirror and convex mirror. In case of concave mirror, they are reflecting surfaces curved inward. This is a concave mirror. In case of convex mirror, they are reflecting surfaces curved outward. This type of mirror eventually, concave mirror are known as converging because they converge the ray of light after reflection. Convex mirrors are known as divergent mirror because they diverge the ray of light after being reflection. So that's all for today's class. Next class, we'll come back with new topics. Till then, thank you so much.